equip a tabard, and run heroic dungeons. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Alright, jokes aside, while it may seem straightforward how to gain reputation and what you need to do to unlock your rewards, there are actually quite a few things to keep in mind both to speed up the journey and to avoid losing your oh-so-valuable time. In this video, we'll be going over the most efficient way to gain reputation, questing versus dungeon grinding, Tolbarad and Therisane, and which reputation you ought to prioritize as a specific role. If you want to skip to a specific section, then there will be timestamps provided below, but with that said, here is the Cataclysm Guide to Reputations. Questing will for some factions be the absolute most efficient way to gain reputation with your given faction, but with that said, there is no need to go absolutely overboard with every single zone. A. We'll be spamming a bunch of heroics at 85 to get reputation anyhow, and B. Some zones will give absolutely terrible reputation, meaning it'll be better to focus on those reputations by equipping a tavern. Let's run it down faction by faction. Guardians of Hydral will be the reputation associated with, you guessed it, Hydral. Questing in this zone will be absolutely amazing when it comes to reputation gain per hour. Going through the entire zone should not take you more than 2 hours if you're going at an efficient rate, which will bring you all the way into Revered with a faction. That means you'll be able to pick up 333 and 346 item level gear right at 85, while also having access to intellect and crit head and chon right out the gate. Then we have the Earthen Ring. This is one of those reputations that I would not actively pursue through questing, but Shio grants a pitiful amount of reputation and is, in my opinion, a terrible questing experience. You get enough reputation to be close enough to honor through Deep Home, so I recommend focusing on this reputation through the top word once you get to friendly. That brings us to Ram Kahen, which is your Oldham specific reputation. Questing in Oldham all the way brings you a few thousand reputations into Honored, which is not great, but not too bad. It's definitely worth leveling in the zone, as it's efficient experience and decent reputation, but I would not come back here at 85 just to quest for reputation. The zone has two daily quests you can do for reputation, but going there simply for the rep is not worth it. You get about 2k reputation for completing the quest in Vortex Pinnacle and the Lost City of Tolvir, which is not bad since you can pick up the quest right at the beginning of the instance. The last of the core reputations is the Dragon Maw Clan for Horde and Wildhammer Clan for the Alliance. You'll have just over 20 quests in Twilight Highlands which will bring you into Honor Reputation and unlock 5 daily quests. After getting too honored, I'd focus on getting this reputation through the Tabard, but if you no longer need Heroic Gear and you're done with your Valor Point Gap for the week, then knocking out 1350 reputation through 5 quick dailies is not a bad idea. When it comes to the tabards, you can pick up the Guardians of Hydral one here, the Dragon Maw Clan one here, the Ram Kahan one here, and the Earthen Ring one here. You don't need to do any questing in Vajir to unlock it, you can simply fly there and then swim for a bit. Equipping a tabard will make you gain reputation towards that specific faction through running heroic dungeons, but you'll also get reputation at a reduced rate from the normal versions of Lost City of Tolvir, Grim Batol, and Halls of Origination. Each run of a heroic dungeon will grant you around 1.5 to 2.5k rep per run depending on the instance and how heavily you focus on trash. But I would generally not recommend going out of your way just to kill trash, as getting as many boss kills per hour as possible will yield you the most amount of gear and justice points while still granting solid reputation. Then you have the outlier reputations, Tolbarad and Therisane. The Tolbarad reputation is the only one that you cannot gain reputation from through a tabard. You'll have to head to the island of Tolbarad, do dailies and PvP battles to earn reputation and accommodations to purchase gear and mounts. I've made a more in-depth guide on how to optimize your reputation gain with this faction, so check that out if you're interested. Every serious raider should aim to have this reputation at Exalted before the release of the first raid tier. For the Therisane faction, you'll have to finish up pretty much every single quest in Deep Home before you get access to the faction. Simply doing the quests will put you a decent chunk into Honored, which will allow you to pick up the lesser version of the Shoulder Enchant. Going to Revered will give you a 346 item level ring, and going to Exalted will grant you the greater version of the Shoulder Enchant. This is a reputation that everyone should work towards completing before the release of the raid tier. You can gain reputation by equipping a tabard while running heroic dungeons. There will also be several dailies you can do to gain rap, but just like with the Dragon Maw Clan, I would only do them if you no longer need heroic gear and you're already done with your Valor Point cap. You can technically fly to the vendor at Friendly without finishing the entire questline to pick up the Tabard, but the questline gives a ton of reputation since you start at Hated. So if you are Friendly by the time you hit level 83, 
I would stay in Deep Home just a little bit longer. All right, so you hit level 85 and you want to know where to focus your efforts. It depends on what your goals are, but assuming you'll be done with the reputation grind before the release of the first raid tier, which should be the goal for most raiders, then it goes as follows. Here is a full overview of what most people should prioritize when it comes to reputations. It may vary slightly from spec to spec depending on your stat values. And some people may want to grind out some reps to revered for a quick 346 item level power up before moving on to the next reputation. You may or may not want to swap around your priorities based on whether or not you'll be done with the reputations before the release of the first raid tier. If you hit 85 a bit later in the expansion, some reputations may be optional if you have some other easy to obtain alternatives. If you enjoyed this video, then I'm sure you'll enjoy some of the other Cataclysm guide contents that I've created over the last few weeks. So go ahead and check out the playlist that I've linked in the description. But if you want to see more from me in the future, make sure to subscribe. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.